We decided that uh, Calgary was falling way behind other cities and Edmonton in particular. Edmonton had the Commonwealth Games and then the university, university had games and Calgary had nothing and was doing nothing uh, about it uh, and we were trying to build a field house very much like the Butter Dome in Edmonton but we didn't have the games that made it necessary to have a field house and yet Calgarians that wanted to be athletes and train during the winter time uh, uh, they, didn't, they didn't have a place to do it. So we were going to build that as a project of the Booster Club. One of our members was at a meeting and sat next to uh, a minister of the Alberta Crown and uh, he was telling him about our plans uh, and he said, well, if you ever want any support from the government of Alberta, you better bid for the games because that's the only way you'll ever get it. So he came back and made that suggestion and uh, two of us put up our hands and said, we'll look into that. We found out, of course, that Calgary had bid three times and had failed three times. And not only that, the leader of the last bid that failed was a fellow that we now called Premier Peter Lougheed. We just called him Pete before that. He was a football player and a businessman, a lawyer. Um, but Peter and Art Smith, two prominent Calgarians, had led the third bid and lost, and uh, they were very disappointed. Uh, these are fellows that would know how to bid and know how to sell, and so uh, how could we possibly follow them and do better, is, was the question. And uh, the, one of the reasons we failed was that we were using Banff continually in all of the bids uh, as the men's downhill, the men's and women's downhill site. There's a good reason for that because at Lake Louise in particular, uh, that's today it's a common thing. We have those kind of races all the time. In those days, that was enough, however, to bring on um, people who were concerned about the environment and, uh, and that if you skied in Banff or Lake Louise uh, in the wintertime uh, in this manner, uh, it would bring people into the park that wouldn't normally be there and it would ruin the park and the IOC were sensitive to these kind of things. They haven't got their popularity by going to places where uh, people think you're ruining uh, the natural uh, environment. So we simply said, uh, there's, a, there's an easy answer to this, let's not do it in the park. We have mountains outside the park in the Canmore region. This is the kind of thing where uh, you never expect or even even think about the fact that uh, if you go into the Alberta Hall of Fame a um, hundred years from now somebody may be standing in front of your picture there and say I wonder who that was and uh, what did he do and maybe they'll ask similar questions to the ones you're asking me um, what brought you here and um, um, what does that mean to me and uh, I, would, I would just say if there's one thing it should mean to you, it is set a high goal for yourself. Ask yourself to be that good.